my god, Inferno Titan? Really? Am I passing an Inferno Titan? Oh Jesus Christ. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yikes. <laughs> like this bag is like everything we want. Every card for our archetype is here, except we're also passing an Inferno Titan. Jesus. Uh. Man, if I went Cultivate, <laughs> I'd so be splashing this Inferno Titan. I would've had all those Silver Rangers too, man. Uh, like the best card for us in our colors is Blinding Mage. And like I could've taken an offensive creature, but like Blinding Mage is just so sick. I can't pass Blinding Mage. Maybe we'll wheel one of these, Unlike it's unlikely though. Like maybe the Cloud Elemental, maybe the Scroll Thief. <coughs> like the two flyers will probably snatch up, the Water Serum will be gone, so I'm gonna take the Binding Mage here and feel really bad about passing this Inferno Titan. Someone's gonna be happy. Um Well there's an Azure Drake and a Cloud Elemental. <coughs> I think that like overall in a vacuum, Azure Drake is definitely a better card. But for our style of deck, because we want to be as aggressive as possible, we want our curve to be lower. I'd rather have a Cloud Elemental for our purposes. We're probably going to lose to something like an Azure Drake, but you can't help that. Like, I'd rather just take this card. And our four drops, I mean, even though there are a bunch of spells and there's no creatures in there, I'd rather just have a cheaper creature and just get the beats down faster, considering what our deck's trying to do. So, yeah. I pass another Pyroclasm, too. Jeez, well, I, I'm guessing they're not going to be in the same deck because one person took one person, well, the one, one, red, one red player is going to take the Inferno Titan, and the other person is going to get the Pyroclasm, and then the person with the Inferno Titan is going to get another Pyroclasm. Uh, jeez. Um, like I don't like any of the cards in our color that much. I mean, Ice Cage is probably the only card that's main deck worthy. Flash Freeze is a sideboard card, Assault Offering is a sideboard card, Layla and Sanctity is a blank. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'll just take something for us. I mean, we could take Terramore Free Expanse, but we need quality spells at this point, so. <coughs> Jeez. Um, where are the creatures? Uh, I don't want to take too many draw spells, but there's nothing else for us in this pack. I guess I'll take Jason Ingenuity. Yikes. <coughs> uh, infantry Veteran, alright, I'm happy to see that at this point. Kind of wanted this Augury Elf. I wonder if anything in my first pack will wheel. Ooh, Fire. Fire Excrecate Mana Leak, jeez. Um, yeah, I mean, we need the creature really badly, so. Um, I'm not going to play three save passages, so I'm going to cut this Corrupt. Don't want to get Corrupted. Uh, it's a creature. We're a little light on creatures, well especially for like a double armor ascension deck. I mean, we're playing, probably not playing that. Wow. The Water Servant and the Cloud Elemental wheel out of that pack. <coughs> I mean, again, like, I think Water Servant's a very good card, but it's better in probably like a control style deck. Um, for our purposes, again, like, I want to be as offensive as possible, considering we're playing, like, now double infantry veteran, double armor ascension. I'm gonna go Cloud Elemental here. Probably a lot of people people disagree with this, but, like, you probably disagreed with my Azure Drake, Azure Drake pick, uh, and Cloud Elemental pick, but, like, I, I, st I stand by it. I think it's still fine. So, yeah, we'll see where it goes. Uh, let's see, cut these safe passages. I mean, this is not the worst deck. We got... A lot of card draw, a couple of removal spells, temporal cards. I mean, if, like, if nothing else, Ice Cage will just get us one attack in. I mean, it's better in a deck with, like, Scroll Thieves and st stuff like that, but, like, we had that pick, and I picked Blinding Mage over it, and I stand by that because I don't think many people will disagree with that because Blinding Mage is just so sick. <coughs> and, I mean, we have one, two, three, four real flyers, then two other things to make anything into a flyer. I mean, we've got crappy creatures like Maritime Guard and Palace Guards, but, I mean, if you put an armor ascension on it, like, I mean, anything's good with an armor ascension on it, so. I mean, this is not the worst. Oh, sorry, we have a Gargoyle Sison, which also flies, but requires a lot more work. 
really wish we got like another bear or something like that. <coughs> Um, can I take another Phantom Beast? Probably not. I will take a foil pa mass polymorph. Like, we could have cut a Gaius Companion, but yeah, whatever. Like, I have. I think there's like almost no doubt in my mind that we're probably going to lose to an Inferno Titan somewhere in this draft. Unless we lose round one to a guy who doesn't have Inferno Titan. <coughs> like if it was maybe like a green Titan or a black Titan, I might have just hate drafted it because it's worth something. Like, but I don't think the Red Titan's worth almost anything at all in terms of ticks, so yeah, I wasn't gonna go hate draft and you know sell it back for a quarter. All right, uh, let's get to deck building. Let's put uh, the cards we want to play in here. Yeah. <coughs> Let's see. Um, this doesn't look too bad. Oh, I forgot the Gargoyle Sentry. <coughs> uh, let's go here. I mean, we have 15 creatures with this, with two armor ascensions. It's not like optimal, I'd say, but I guess it's fine. I mean this doesn't this deck doesn't look the worst, but it's by no means like the best either. I see ourselves like getting a few damage in early with with the help of infantry veterans, then probably stall on something like the per our opponent being at like eleven or twelve life, something like that. And then slapping one of these on to something like anything really and getting in there for the last couple of damages. Um I mean I'm not um, I'm not upset with this draft, but I'm not impressed either, but it's fine. I mean, I've seen worse. Oh man, like, this draft channel has seen a lot worse, so, uh, sort by color. Let's see what we got here. <coughs> so, Moto suggests 8-9. Uh, I usually don't like 8-9 mana bases, I usually like 10-7s. <coughs> Let's see. Not one Cloud Crusader, but Armored Ascensions are very heavy white cards as well. Aether Adept on three. Jace Engineering Harbor Serpent, also heavy blue. Um. Hmm. Like if we go to eight, it's almost like our Harbor Serpent's never going to attack unless <coughs> our opponent's playing blue as well. Um. It might be hard to hit Aether Adept. But it's not like we need to drop it on turn three. We have other things to do on turn three, anyways. Um, like I think it's pretty important for us to get infantry veterans on turn one, uh, a couple of early white creatures. Well, like the only really good white creatures, and I say good, lib I, s I say that very you know, liberally, is a uh, silver cult lion, wild griffin on the first couple of turns. Like cloud crusaders much later. Hmm. Like if I switch these numbers around and do this. That actually might be a little better. Because we don't need blue until much later in the game. Plus we have 4C to find us another blue source if we only have one. Yeah, I think this is fine. Yeah, uh, like again, I'm not happy with this, but we'll see. Like We have a bunch of crappy creatures in this deck, but yeah. Hopefully we'll be able to pull something out of it.